Hey, my friend, Adam here. Just figured I'd give you a real quick tour of the place we're staying right now, just because it was one of those um, one of those places that was almost too cool not to show you around. There's just so many neat things. We're looking at it right behind there. There we go. Uh, it's a uh, old English manor essentially and uh, it's on a property that's I don't even know I think it's like 12,000 acres or something obscene there's a castle we don't get the castle we can go see the castle there's actually an underground passageway from this kitchen to the castle I think the castle's that way and we'll show you the castle later because it's a bit of a, a bit of a march and we're obviously not going to go underground but for now let me uh, let me take you behind the scenes into this nifty place uh, it's a little chilly, so we won't go in the pool or anything like that. And then I think the tennis courts are back that way. But regardless, let the tour begin. So let's uh, flip this thing around here. We'll go for a walk. So this is the place. Just realized, ah, oh, we won't edit this out. We'll just keep it all in. We'll go around. Got to have the minivan. See, a lot of people would rent the Lamborghini the Ferrari, the Bentley, something like that. But no, no, we're um, we're keeping it authentic here with the minivan. So anyway, here's where we go. This is the entrance. So we drive in through here. Nice, cool wall around the outside. And we go through this side of the house into the main entryway. And I'm gonna have to mess with some camera settings here as we go in, because it's gonna get a bit dark, because I didn't plan for this at all. So let's adjust. It's also going to be some random kids streaming throughout the house. So here we are inside. Let me uh, walk you through here. So this is the main, I believe they call the drawing room, even though not a lot of drawing goes on in here. So neat little place, some cool little art, some places to sit. What I've been doing is, um, Every morning I've been working from like a different couch. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to work in all the couches though, even uh, over the next month, but regardless, working in different chairs. And then this is where we just were. So I was standing right out there and then we're looking back towards the house, towards me here. So regardless, here we are. This is a nifty thing we've not used yet because being from Canada, it's hot despite it being England. So the, uh, the wood fire pit, fireplace with the, the kindling and the matches, but we ain't, we ain't doing that anytime soon because it's hot. In fact, let's lose the jacket here for a second as we go through the rest of the tour because it is warm inside. All right, jacket's going, tour continues. So here's what's been interesting is we've been getting lost like really lost because uh, there's a couple different stairways and a couple different ways in and around and it's been almost impossible to navigate so first things first this is the cinema room oh it's super dark Let's see if I can find the lights doesn't really matter oh that's so dark hang on so cinema room we're gonna go through things pretty quick this one's actually not too fancy but it's nifty neat little cinema room that we come in through the rest we've got hallway number one and then stairway number one and bathroom number one. I'll spare you the, uh, the bathroom tour. And then what's interesting is this place, the way it's designed, there used to be, no, it's not that way. It's over this way. So they would have like, um, like a live-in nanny or um, service person, essentially cook the meals, look after the kids. And so essentially the house is almost divided into like, I don't want to say divided, but like really easy private access to different areas. So you can kind of go through in like the main living quarters where they were, and then the sort of service area, which has uh, access to like the kitchen and utility room and laundry room and things like that. So anyway, we're gonna we're gonna circle back that way in a second. Let's come back this way. So this is back again through the drawing room, and then we go from the drawing room into what is probably my favorite room in the house, which is this room here, and this is the formal dining room. And I gotta find the lights. Da -da -da -da. There we go. I'll go wave at the camera. So this is the formal dining room, and I don't know, I just think it, I like big tables. I always like big tables. I don't like sitting at big tables, but I like the look of big tables, because they always make you feel like, I don't know, very formal, very fancy. And then again, that's kind of like the view back out to the front. 
So I had this like vision of sitting way down there and filming a video over here, but we will see. Hello. All right, carrying on. So now we're out again of another hallway and this is where things start to get a little more confusing. So there's like one way into the kitchen here and then, actually let's go in this way. We'll check who's around. All right, it's still quiet. Kids are watching TV or something. So this is the kitchen. This thing's neat. This I just learned is called an aga, and it's like a oven slash stove that is perpetually warm and stays on all the time. Uh, this one's modern-ish, so it's electric, but in the day, they were wood powered and you just basically keep it going. Dishes that need to be done, that's, that's my responsibility. So we'll, keep, we'll skip past that. The kitchen, the breakfast nook, another sitting area, outside. This part's neat because it's almost like this walled in private kind of like little garden sitting area. And then the property carries on like way back there. And in fact, you can just sort of see that roof. I wonder if you can, I wonder if it'll focus. Let's see if I can get it to focus way back there. Um, and that is the games room. So in there there's ping pong table, tennis table, so on and so forth. All right, let me see if I can get the, the focus to go back to where we needed to go. All right. So then what we're going to do is we're going to actually glance past the room on the left because that's a sitting room where the kids are all occupied right through that door. But just imagine another sitting room and then laundry and then this door goes outside. See, after being here forever, I finally figured out the lay of the land a little bit. This is back to original staircase where we were talking about the servants quarters and entrance, then a refresher. So that's the formal dining room, but then here's the stairs to go upstairs where things get a little bit more confusing. So let's go up here first, because this is neat. So up the stairs, basically we've got a couple different areas up here too. We've got the left, which is master bedroom, bedroom, bathroom. Then we've got the right, which is more bedrooms, another kind of quasi master, a couple more bedrooms around here, and then the servants quarters. So why don't we do this real quick? So this is, Another bedroom. This was actually going to be my office. Oh, look at the temperature change, the color change. There we go. So this was going to be my little office that I was going to hide away in. It might still be, but I've been kind of just like working from the main area downstairs. Bathroom's neat. We'll make sure these ones are clean. Thing with getting a place here and having, there we go, having uh, six people stay in it is, even though I think it sleeps like 19, the kids all kind of claimed their own rooms. That one's a bit messy. We'll leave that one. We'll go through here. Let's, uh, let's take a quick detour to the servant quarters, which are up this stairs. Check, check. Kids hiding everywhere. I think we're good. So yeah, so this was like the original sort of um, nanny suite, essentially. And then that's where it goes up through the rest of the property is up around that path in there. And then the nanny suite bathroom, another, this is the smallest bedroom in the house, which is actually kind of cool because it's still uh, by British standards, large. And then again, similar view. Say hi again, carry on. I think that was it. All right, carrying on. What else we got? So again, Basically, we go down here, we take a right, there's the kitchen and the utility room, then up here, there's other kids' bedroom. I think his place is clean enough. Clean enough, complete with stuffed animals on the bed. Actually, fun story. I don't know, fun story. Um, I was concerned, like when we got this place, that the kids were gonna be really scared because it's like a, it's a super old house and it's, it's really big and super spread out. Um, but they've actually, they've done shockingly well. So all good. All right, so here's the, this is the entrance from like the wood stairs that we first saw. Then we come up here, that's just a utility room. And then another kid's bedroom, which is another like master suite, but you can tell by the Lego. And then we'll see if the bathroom has been, ah, oh, bathroom's clean enough. We we'll have a quick scan. So again, a lot of, a lot of these monster tubs everywhere. And big showers. All right, almost done, almost done. The master, which I think is only half destroyed. So we'll give a quick tour. So it's definitely not one of those like fancy 
cribs tours where they like clean everything up and turn all the lights on. Let's probably turn the lights on. That might, might improve things. So the usual stuff there. This thing, side note, parenting travel life hack for you. Um, what I'm about to show you will change your life and traveling with kids, especially young kids. So obviously don't do this with your eight year old because that's uh, unless they super love camping. But this is a travel tent and it's like this breathable tent thing that blacks out the light and then the baby sleeps in there, super dark, but regardless, she's not there now, so it's cool. Um, and it has been like, like a literal game changer. And I don't say that lightly. Essentially what it's allowed us to do is she sleeps in the master with us and sleeps like right away. So we'll get her all ready for bed, get her settled in there. Uh, we leave the window cracked and there's air vents in the back and things like that, but it's phenomenal. And uh, she'll sleep all through the night where in the past, every time that we would travel without one of those, she'd like hop out of the crib and she would see us all the time and get disturbed by everything, etc. All right. So, and then this is the master bath, which has been kind of taken over by the kids anyway, because they just come in here and do all their stuff. And then this like wicked shower. So this one's kind of neat because there's a shower head there and a shower head there. And then there's kind of like a walk through glass thing, which isn't great for privacy. So you want to shower with the door, um, door to the bathroom close and then just more closets, basically closets everywhere. I think that's it. I think we saw everything. So with that said, that is the house tour. Maybe I will, actually I might take you on a tour of the, uh, the castle and the outside place later, but for now, that's it. And it has been phenomenal. After um, two months on the road and staying in all kinds of different hotels and uh, even resorts, it's just, it's amazing to have this kind of space where the kids are, basically they're able to run around and yell and play outside and uh, do noisy, fun kid stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the tour and I'll talk to you soon.